Hello, church family. It's Wednesday, and it's time for another Wednesday Minister Moment. You know, we live in a world of suffering and heartache, a world where uh, people often feel alone. And, and, and what people need in those types of situations is they need someone, someone that they can count on, someone that they know will help them or maybe walk with them through that suffering, through that heartache, somebody who they know really cares about them. And when you have somebody like that, that's a great help, a, a great help in those times of struggles. It doesn't take the pain away, but it does help you to bear it better. You know, in times of suffering that we have, we often ask the question, does God care? I mean, does he really care about us that, since these bad things are happening? Uh, we will tend to focus on the suffering that we're experiencing. We'll focus on the pain. We'll focus on our loneliness or our loss. We'll begin to ask questions like, well, why did this happen? Why did God allow this? Why is God doing this? And, and I've had people ask me those questions as well. And the reality is I don't have answers for all of those. When you ask why, why is God doing this? Or why is God allowing this? I can't always give you a good answer. All I know is that we live in a fallen world. We live in a world where there are struggles and heartaches and suffering that occurs to people. But if you ask the question, does God care? I think you have an answer for that. In John chapter 20, after the resurrection of Jesus, his disciples were hiding out in this room. They were afraid because they didn't want to get arrested themselves. And, and on that first day of the week, that very first day when Jesus rose that morning, that night they were in this room and Jesus suddenly appears. And Jesus says, peace be with you. And as he speaks with them, he breathes on them the Holy Spirit. And they're all, their hearts are changing because they know that Jesus is alive and that he's with them. But there's one disciple that's not there and his name is Thomas. And then beginning in verse 24, it says this. Now Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where the nails were and put my hands into his side, I'll not believe it. So a week later, his disciples were in the house again. And Thomas was with them. And though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them, and he said, Peace be with you. And then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, see my hands, and reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. And Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. Thomas believed. He believed because he saw the face of his Savior, who was alive. Jesus was alive now. But not only that, he saw the wounds in his hands and in his side. We often focus on the doubt that Thomas had, or maybe the faith that he ended up with. But I want us to focus on the fact that Thomas could see the face of Jesus and that he could see his wounds. And what I want us to know is that we can know that God cares about us. And he shows that through the wounds that he carries with him after his resurrection. You see, Jesus, when he rose from the dead, he kept the wounds. He kept the scars. And we all have scars. Scars of suffering that we've experienced, either whether it be physical or emotional. Scars from our past that remind us of what has happened. And these scars of Jesus not only remind him of what he has done for us, and also reminds him of our own suffering that we have in this earth. But it reminds us that God knows and that he cares. Because Jesus didn't remove himself from suffering. He came to this earth to walk among us, to go through the things that we go through, to go through the temptations and the heartaches that we go through. He didn't remove himself from suffering. He walked into the middle of it and he suffered himself. When someone asks, does God care? Yes. How do you know? You see it in the life and in the face and in the scars of Jesus. We need someone to walk with us who understands our pain, 
And even when we feel alone, even when we're not sure exactly why things are happening, we can take comfort in the fact that God does not remove himself from our pain. But he has experienced that pain himself. That he walks with us. That he asks us to call upon him. And that no matter what we face, he promises that he'll be with us. And while there will be periods of time of fear and heartache, there will also be times of joy, just like there was for the disciples. Does God care about you? Yes, He does. We can see it in the wounds, in the scars that He carries with Him. Do not forget that He cares. I hope this is an encouragement to you, and I hope that you have a blessed day.